On the Rocks is a competitive board game about making the best drinks to see who can earn the most money by the end of the night. It is designed by Pentry Games, plays in 45 to 90 minutes for two to four players ages 14 and up. So let's set up the game. Now we have four different areas to set up and the first area that we're gonna set up is the bar. Now each player gets one of these player boards which looks like an actual drink menu. And then when you open it up, they'll also get three lemon markers which you'll put on the top right corner of your player board. So that was the bar. Next up is the mixing area where you'll take this coaster and put it at the center of the table. And then you're gonna take these silicone mixing bowls and for two players, you'll take four of these bowls and surround the coaster. But for three to four players, you'll go ahead and put five around the coaster. Now in the example today, we'll go ahead and set up for a two player game. So to the right of your mixing area, you go ahead and put the shaker bag right next to it and then fill it up with three of the gold marbles, which are the cat eye marbles. You'll put four of the wild marbles, which are the clear ones, four of the spill marbles, which are the black ones, and then all the other ingredient marbles you'll place in the bag. You can also set your pair of dice next to the shaker bag as well. Now next up is your order area where you put all your drinks here along with your spill deck and the tip deck. You can also put your stack of coins here too. Okay, so you have your bar, you have your mixing area, and you have your order area. The last part of the setup is to set up your drink orders. Now to do that, you're gonna take three to four recipes and then place them under the corresponding glass shown here. Now these are also color coded like yellow to old fashioned and green to hurricane. Now let's take a look at the player board before we figure out how to play. So these are all your cocktail glasses where you put all of your ingredient marbles. You'll put recipe cards under their corresponding glass name tab. Lemon round markers are placed on the shelf when completing a full drink order. The space up here is for the extra ingredients. Any orders that you have finished will go face down on the completed orders tab. The tips tab cards are placed face up by the tips tab. If a tips card has been used, then it gets discarded into the discarded tips card here. Past tip cards go to the complaints tab. And then lastly, the on the rock sign itself is used to organize all your ingredient marbles before you put them into the mixing area. Just remember that the extra ingredients are not saved here. And then speaking of ingredients, each recipe card will also have a list of marbles or ingredients that you'll need in order to make that drink. At the top of the card will be the name of the type of glass and how much is worth is on the left side. Now the first thing you wanna do is resolve any complaint cards that you have, which are cards that have this past symbol shown here. Now if you didn't get a complaint, then you can go ahead and move on to the next step. But if you did, then you wanna resolve it now. So like, let's say someone gives you the clumsy bartender card, then you have to pull it from the spill deck. Now once you finish the complaint, then you put this card face down in the discarded tips. Now action two is called roll. So here you just roll two dice and then you can also manipulate the dice by discarding an ingredient marble per die for any glass on your player board. So ones can become sixes, twos can become fives, threes can become fours, and then you can also reverse it so sixes can become one and so on. However, you cannot use any extra ingredients for this dice manipulation. Action number three is draft, where the number shown on the dice will dictate how many ingredient marbles that you can take from the shaker bag. Okay, so we're making our way towards making a drink, right? So we have complaints first, we have roll, where we can also manipulate the dice if we want to, and then we also have draft. Now number four is mix, where the first player starts off the game by placing ingredients into any jigger bowl they want to, and then they add ingredients clockwise until all the marbles have been distributed. So action number five is to pick one of these jigger bowls and then take these ingredients and then match them onto the recipe cards on your player board. If you have any leftover ingredients that you can't use just yet, that leads to action number six, which is called save. And then you can save any three marbles of your choice to put on the extra shelf on the top left of your player board. But then anything unused goes back into the shaker bag. Number seven is to resolve. So let's say you get a gold marble. You resolve this effect by picking two ingredients of your choice from the shaker bag and then putting them onto your player board at any time during your turn. Once all the gold marble actions are done, put these directly on the coaster and then once all three gold marbles have been drafted, that's when you can put these back into the shaker bag. If you have a black spill marble, you wanna finish your full turn first and then pick the top card from the spill deck and finish it. So just like the gold ones, once you resolve these, they go on the coaster until all four black spill marbles are there and then you'll go ahead and return these to the bag as well. For recipe cards, finishing these means you'll put them face down in this location here and then put the marbles back into the bag. For every recipe card that you finish, you can also collect a tip card and then put the tip card on the face up tips pad. Action number eight are the tips cards themselves and these can only be played during your turn. And the last action that you can take is the end turn action where you pass dice and shaker bags clockwise to the next person. And if you completed a drink here, then you'll also have to start a brand new one. So the whole point here is to make a drink, right? So how do you go about completing your order? First, you wanna put all the completed recipes face down by the completed orders tab on the left side. So you also have three of these lemon markers. These will indicate which round you're in. 
and then the player takes the next order, picking three to four recipe cards and then placing them face up in the corresponding drinks tab. You're also going to look at any of the extra ingredients shelf and then add any ingredients to your player board following the recipe card. And then take any of your unused ingredients from the jiggle bowl and then put them onto your player board. Again, the leftovers will go to the extra ingredients shelf. If you have any remaining ingredients, you'll return those to the shaker bag and then the emptied jigger bowl goes back to the mixing area in the same spot as before. All players are now going to begin their turns at the empty bowl from here on out. Endgame is triggered when the first person places the third lemon wedge and says last call. And then after that, each player has one last turn to finish any of their remaining drink recipes. The first player to reach this lemon round marker gets the first player bonus coin. So let's talk about bonus coins for a second. Now these are given at the end of the game based on who finishes all three drink orders first. So for example, in a two player game, the first player to reach three drink orders gets a $3 bonus coin. If you're playing a three player game, the first person gets a $3 bonus coin and the second person gets a $1 bonus. And then lastly, if you're playing in a four player game, first gets $5, second gets $3, and then third gets $1. Now to score, all you do is add up all your recipe cards that you finished in the completed orders tab, and then all the active tip cards that were not discarded. You also can include bonus coins, and then you'll also subtract $2 for each incomplete recipe to tally up the final score. Highest score wins, and if there's a tie, the person with the most completed drink recipes will win. And that is On The Rocks by Pentry Games. Thank you so much for joining us today. This campaign starts on July 23rd, so we hope to see you there.